On this week's episode of For Real Friday, I want to talk about the current state of open houses. So now that we are in phase three of the reopening plan, open houses are technically allowed to happen again. So I have had some people ask and inquire about if I am doing them. My personal opinion on open houses right now are that they are a very unnecessary risk. If someone really wants to see a home, they can book a private showing via their realtor or they can contact the listing agent. As we are still trying to keep our exposure and our bubbles as small as possible, letting people through a home who you haven't had the chance to qualify or properly screen seems kind of irresponsible. I've seen people having open houses where one agent is outside screening and testing and then the rule is like one group through at a time with the other agent, which is really how you should be doing it and the right way if you are going to do it. But it all comes back to my thoughts around just book a private showing if you're interested. This saves multiple realtors from being exposed to clients and it allows the proper conversations to be had before someone just shows up to look at a house. Based on the current buyer activity in the market, I don't think having an open house is going to change the end result for a seller at all. In our normal world, I encourage people to have them because sometimes a browser comes through and ends up falling in love, or it is the sole way that some people prefer to view homes. But in the middle of a pandemic, when really only serious buyers are investing their time to look, I can't even come up with one pro bullet point on my pros and cons list for doing an open house right now. COVID has changed a few things in the way that we're running our everyday business, but one of the nice things it has done is eliminated people who are just being nosy or are looking for homes outside of their budget. As realtors and just members of the general public, I think we have a responsibility to keep people safe and come in contact with as few people as possible. The proof is in the pudding right now that sellers are achieving fantastic results without open houses. I know some agents don't share my views on this, and that's fine. And as the whole situation evolves, maybe my opinions on it will shift. But right now, for the protection of myself, my clients, and my family, I just don't think doing open houses at this point makes any sense.